This program is brought to you by Emory University. There was a call from um, pediatricians and the CDC saying that they were needing um, a fast and an early screener for autism to be done um, kind of quickly in the pediatrician's office and um, there's nothing out there right now that's that's not a, just a standard form that's really an interactive assessment that, that can be done quickly so that call kind of led us into doing the screenings that we were already doing here at Emory and make it into kind of a shorter version and and mass produce it so that we can get it to pediatricians offices and and have children come get diagnosed earlier and sooner because the number one thing that we know is that if the interventions start earlier on in life then their success rate for um, being able to be socialized and communicate is just going to increase. So what we were looking at is is communication, social communication. Um, so what we test for is is affect and facial expressions, um, joint interactive play, um, being able to engage in a back and forth interaction with somebody else. So those were um, the key f features that we wanted to really stick to when, when developing this screener. Um, the Rapid ABC kind of goes through those five steps. The first one is um, being able to respond to your name being called. So what we would do with the child is, is say their name and see if we see those key things, facial expression changing, um, whether they look and give me eye contact or not and we would rate a positive or a negative as to whether or not that they did that. And then we'd also rate, was it easy for them to engage or not? Um, so the first step is engaging in, in their name being called. The second one is a short interaction with a ball. So um, what we do is, is we'll take a ball, see whether they're attending to just the ball or if they're attending to the ball and our, you know, an, the other clinician involved in the process. Um, we rate whether they look at the ball, smile, um, uh, laugh, return the ball and play in a short play interaction, and then also reciprocity. That just means basically can they engage in a back and forth with you uh, or the clinician or whoever it is in, in playing with the ball. And then the third step is uh, ball play, I mean book play. And so we get like a little small uh, book a board book and again try to see whether or not the child is engaging with the book um, or the book and the person. We look for gestures here to see whether they can point to the um, items. Um, turn play, whether they'll, they'll let you um, turn the book or if they can turn the book themselves. And then um, also reciprocity as well, whether they're paying attention to the book that you're reading and yourself by giving you eye contact, changes in facial expressions. Um, and the fourth um, activity is um, a surprise activity and the clinician will take the book and put it on their head and just to kind of switch it up and say, oh, what's going on? And see if the child will turn and look at you, you give you eye contact, smile, become more shy and reserved, um, whether or not they'll point at a distance and, um, and we'd rate whether or not it was easy or difficult to get their attention um, to that surprise activity. And then the last activity is uh, tickling. And most all the kids love the tickle game. The clinician will warn the parent and the child is that there's gonna be a tickle game and we'll um, escalate our voice and, and go in to tickle the child and see if there's anticipation, eye contact, changes in facial expression. Um, and then an, an, a want for the child to continue that play game after reciprocity has been built. And then we then again assess whether or not it was difficult or, or more easy to engage the child. So those are the, the, the five kind of key features um, of the Rapid ABC. And it sounds like a lot, but it, it really goes through super quick. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.